These are the best Red Dead Redemption 2 mods, some of which will make you think horses aren't immersive enough, with an essential modding guide at the end. Thanks to PED damage overhaul, all attacks do more damage to both Arthur and NPCs. Headshots are more deadly, and now NPCs can have injuries mid-combat. Depending on where they are hit, they may end up staggered, limping, or even bleed out on the ground. Just remember, fast-paced realism goes both ways. Help! <laughs> Lenny's Simple Trainer gives you an in-game menu to apply cheats if you ever feel like creating some chaos. For example, you can upgrade your horse with the push of a button to make it faster, which definitely comes in handy. We can make it! <laughs> it also comes with some very useful teleportation skills. With choices like unlimited ammo, spawnable NPCs, and many more, this menu will certainly help you play outside of the box. Red Dead already has super unforgettable views. What do you think? Oh, it just pooped on my face! Ah! But photorealistic reshade makes them even more memorable. By enhancing shadows, colors, and sharpness, it provides some pretty stunning visual improvements to the game. Dog Companion lets you find any dog in the world and bond with it to make it your best friend forever. With this mod, you can name the dog, have it lend you a paw in combat. It will even help you hunt all kinds of animals in the wild. And afterwards, you can cook your dog. Some nice treats. With the addition of a hunger and thirst wheel that gradually decay above your minimap, Basic Needs gives you a bonus layer of immersion and another excuse to watch Arthur guzzle lukewarm beans. <laughs> Eventually, low wheels will impact your base stats like stamina. Your thirst wheel will drain faster in warm climates, but you're able to refill it by taking a swig from a canteen added by the mop. Wading into rivers will give you the opportunity to fill it back up. You can also wash Arthur in the stream, which lets you regain some stamina as well. It also helps to wash off the mud. Ah! Oh, what the? Ah! <laughs> there is one more feature that I can only describe as terminally immersive. There's a pee meter. A meter to make Arthur expel liquid from his nether regions. But don't worry, you can get rid of that feature in the mod's any file like this. You're welcome. Since Arthur has the swimming skills of a toddler tied to a rock, you might want to try out the Enable Swimming mod. With this mod, you can swim for much longer with no stamina drain, which you might see as a big advantage. But he still swims with the form of a drunk baby, so I think it balances out. Replayable Bounties gives you many more candidates for train euthanasia. I mean, bounties to complete 24-7 with a massive variety. They are available in every city and are constantly refreshing after you finish them with new missions to complete. The bounties are usually pretty straightforward, so of course I always complete them successfully. Okay, and is he dead? He's dead now, great. Bank Robberies lets you rob banks outside of the main quest line by just pointing your pistol at a bank teller. Once you do, a robbery sequence will commence and you'll be able to nab the goods if you make it inside the vault and out in one piece. Just remember to look both ways when you make your exit. Oh no! <laughs> Climates become far more threatening with the humidity overhaul. Now, if you want to enjoy nature with a nice stroll up a mountain in the snow during a thunderstorm, your core temperature will drop faster as your clothing absorbs water, forcing you to take shelter or dry out to warm yourself. You also receive more penalties for being overdressed for the heat. It gives you an actual reason to use fire, you know, for something other than impromptu barbecue. Young Arthur revamps the vanilla face textures of the protagonist to de-age him quite a bit. In Arthur from an earlier time, you know, back before dogs could vote. By adding more missions, Contracts leads you to a bunch of locations to wrangle all kinds of cowpoke. With plenty of variation in difficulty and effects on your honor, there are a bunch of ways to complete an objective. Oh, okay, burn these people alive? I'll get right on that, uh... Paper boy. Ambient Gang spawns a ton of patrolling gang enemies around the map, creating an infestation of criminal whites. Many different types of whites looking to kill. Hungry whites, hard to understand whites, and loser whites. That means it's up to you to perpetrate some white on white crime. Hunting Wagon is a great mod for long pelt gathering sessions, giving you some extra storage in the form of a wagon to help you move items back and forth between camp. Honestly, I could always use some extra space for roadkill. 
purely accidental, of course. Banking the old American art makes it so that when you die, you lose all the money in your inventory. Additionally, this mod adds the ability to deposit or withdraw your wealth in any of the banks around the map. It's a great mod for those who die often, which of course, I never do. Oh God! <laughs> Injuries overhaul adds the likelihood of sustaining an injury in combat to different areas of your body leading to different debuffs like drain or inability to wield certain weapons. For example, if Arthur receives a head injury, his ability to perform Deadeye will be reduced. Luckily, 80% of the volume of Arthur's head is filled with sand. But don't worry, you can get patched up by waiting or going to a doctor. Now, thanks to seats, with the press of a button, you can make Arthur sit down, which will gradually restore his cores. Arthur sure does smoke like a chimney sometimes while sitting, my god. Good thing he doesn't have a pre-existing condition. NPC Catalog gives you plenty of different previously inaccessible NPC items to purchase. There are a bunch of pieces that let you impersonate a variety of characters like a cop, your deadbeat dad, or an incredibly intelligent person. Buyable Properties adds locations you can purchase and decorate as you please all around the map, which is really great if you finally want some peace and quiet. Who are you? Keep in mind, only the houses, not the apartments, are customizable and can only be purchased after the epilogue. Now you can live out the fairy tale of today's youth. Home ownership. Cut Dialogue Restoration gives you a chance to hear more from legendary wordsmith Arthur. Hey, mister. Now Arthur will have many more lines to vocalize when in combat, making conflicts much more lively. Such that lantern lets you attach your lantern to your horse or your satchel at will, leaving both of your hands free. This is a feature only for Arthur, which means you still have to hand people a light the old fashioned way. Now that's what I call reigniting tradition. Crime and law rebalance makes lawmen less likely to notice your minor crimes or crimes committed in the wilderness, but also makes their AI much more intelligent when they are actually pursuing you, making them take cover much more often. Lawmen also don't spawn infinitely. In the wilderness, it legalizes bullying, dirt skiing, and horse and runs. You know, hit and runs, but with a horse. <sighs> I love freedom. All in all, there are a ton of tweaks that help make the game potentially more enjoyable if you're doing a low honor playthrough. Stagecoach Robberies lets you buy a tip to rob a stagecoach anywhere on the map. That might sound super easy, but trust me, this mod is definitely more challenging than I expected. Yep. Holy crap, I have to make my way up here? Is that even possible? I got this. Uh, it's so easy. Oh my God, I have this. Oh, uh, no, no! <laughs> oh my god! YM's assortment gives you an absolutely absurd amount of customization previously inaccessible in the game. It even goes so far as adding new hairstyles to make Arthur look like he's excessively sweaty, is on drugs, or has an anime problem. With over 450 options to add in customization, there is no chance you'll be disappointed. 90.1% Healthy Arthur Morgan is a mod that allows you to run around as Arthur after the epilogue. In order to get the most out of this mod, you might want to also download Disable Out of Bounds Snipers to prevent Arthur from dying brutally in Armadillo, which we all know isn't lore friendly. Him dying brutally, that is. If you're looking to add to your body count, Duels lets you initiate a duel anywhere with any NPC that has a gun. Even if you're not the type to hunt down civilians for fun. Help. Weird. It at least gives you a little more to do than just acrobatics. Are you kidding me? That does not count as an obstacle jump. All right. Yes, I made it over the fence, but not... Whatever. Playable Piano gives Arthur the chance to flex his virtuoso muscles by interacting with any piano. Step aside, dolt. A true artiste is in the building. Here are some very important tips to ensure that these mods work for you when you download them. Many of these mods need a script hook in order to work. There are many available, but some specifically need one called Script Hook RDR2. There's a link to this in the description. Many also need something called Lenny's Mod Loader. And in my experience, in order for Lenny's Mod Loader to work, you also need Lenny's Simple Trainer, whether or not you plan to actually use it in the game. Another file you 
need that is very important is the most recent ASI loader. This is theoretically included in the script hook download, but if Red Dead Redemption 2 receives an update, your mods can stop working and you'll have to download the latest ASI file in order for them to work again. Also, from time to time, I get a crash to desktop when loading up the game, but if I relaunch it, it works perfectly. This is an important difference to note if you're used to Skyrim's instant crash to desktops, meaning that there's a problem that needs immediate fixing. You probably only need to fix something if you're getting a lot of crashes or the mods themselves don't work in the game. It is also worth noting that there probably are a good amount of conflicts that all of these mods have with one another, particularly if they change similar things. So if one of your mods don't work and you downloaded another mod that does something kind of similar, definitely test out enabling and disabling different mods. Importantly as well, you should keep in mind you probably don't want to disable mods while you still have items equipped from them, because that can allegedly corrupt save files. And of course, ask questions or just give props to mod authors in the forum sections of these mod pages, because I may be a gaming genius, but I'm not a modding genius. And if you want to hear more about these mods in length, you can go over to my Patreon, where I have a podcast talking about them in more detail. Thank you for watching. Hey, mister!